all you see on TV these days is gambling adverts, and it's all good saying gamble aware, but the people don't gamble aware. They, they gamble the senses away because they don't know what to do. People lose their houses, people lose their jobs over gambling. Yeah, just a matter of pride, really. Like, you, you want to sort yourself out. You're thinking, no, I can control my demons. I, I can get past this. I, I like you or not that you can, that you should be able to. But a lot of people are secretly suffering silence, and then it, 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 they end up doing something daft. I, I didn't know where to turn to because I, I thought my family had hate me through it. What now is start seeing people that try and air my stuff out properly to a professional and just try and build my life up to where I don't have to go to the bookies, where I can walk past one without thinking I have to go in there. It's when I'm about 15 because I've been able to get into them from then. I've got, I can't remember to pinpoint it, but my friends started going on the machines, you know, the roulette machines. But then as throughout the years, like from about the age of eight, 17, 18, that's when I got bad for it. Yesterday, I lost 210 pound. That were all the money to my name. And I only went in with the intention of putting a fiver in. And then I were down to like my last 40 quid and I thought I'm going to have to try it here just, just for the possibility because I owed money out to my family for bills and stuff like that. And then once I'd put it in and I'd lost it, I just I'd like, oh, I'm not suicidal, but that kind of feeling comes across your head like what, I, I literally can't do anything here. The thing is with where, where I was living in Huddersfield, it's got something like 20 bookies in one square mile. Like yesterday, I had no intention of going to the bookies, but I had to go catch a bus home from the town centre, and there's a bookies in the bus station. And people think, oh, just stop, just stop. But sometimes I physically can't stop myself from putting it in, like I'll be shaking and sweating and all types of weird ticks. But I just can't stop myself from doing it at times. I'm 21, I work, and I, but I still don't have anything. It's a horrible cycle because it destroys everyone that you touch. It, it's like a cancer that's just, that grows and grows and it makes everything worse. I, I would literally probably be dead right now if I didn't have a decent family behind me.